All right, uh, here we are with round one. And it looks like we lost the die roll, so I'm assuming we're gonna be on the draw. Let's see what our opener is. Man, uh, like, I mentioned before in the deck tech that there's like one bad matchup that Ad Nauseam has right now, uh, and that would be Death Shadow. Um, ever since I started playing Grixis, it got a lot harder. Um, I could beat John Death Shadow. That matchup was like pretty close, but post board, you just landed the ley line and they couldn't really do anything. Um, they weren't fast enough, and they didn't really have anything to get rid of the ley line. Uh, this hand's bad. I'm gonna mulligan this, obviously. Um, jeez. This hand has the combo and fast mana. My only issue is if we're playing is to get a deck with discard spells. It might not be good enough. But we are on the draw. I think I'm going to keep this. I will happily leave it on top. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, like the Jundash Shadow version was a lot easier to beat than the Grixis version. Uh, the Grixis version is just really difficult right now. Um, and I'm currently trying to figure out like what to do about that matchup. Um, but I don't think I've ever... No, I, be I beat him once at a tournament, and... Long story short, I ended up just hard casting a lightning storm at their face and killing them because they were at a low life total. But um, that might just be what you have to do in that matchup. I mean, I don't really know. Um, I'm still practicing it. So well, I don't like where this is going. <sighs> Please don't get up on a black land. Okay. Speak of the devil. Looks like we're against Grixis Shadow or some sort of Grixis deck. Um, which is not what we wanted. <laughs> this might be a rough one. Uh, if I were him, I would take the Ad Nauseam. Although, notably, our hand is pretty good against discard spells. Uh, he probably takes this. Yeah, he probably takes a Lotus Bloom. Yep. I was gonna say, our hand is pretty good against, um, discard spells because, uh, mystical teachings can go either get an Angel's Grace or an Ad Nauseam, so... Yeah, this matchup is this matchup is very rough. Game one, uh, sometimes you can squeak it out. Game two, but I don't really. Uh, it's pretty. Oh wow, all the discard spells. If, if he's following this up with a death shadow, we might just be dead. <laughs> Get some fast mana. That would be nice. Preferably a. Do they play cold against command in the main. Yeah, they do. Okay, maybe not a pentai prism. I mean, I don't really know. We can't really do anything game one. Um, they just have a good good matchup against combo in general. Um, I imagine Storm's matchup isn't that much better. Um, and I've actually been thinking about picking up a second modern deck that's more like interactive. Um. That's that's actually better against Death Shadow because it's so prevalent in the meta. It's like thirteen percent or something like that. Um, but as of right now, Ad Nauseam is what I have. I've played it for a while, so I'm just gonna keep jamming it. Um, maybe something happens in modern where Death Shadow isn't uh, as good anymore, or for whatever reason, it isn't as excuse me. It isn't as prevalent in the format. In which case, Ad Nauseam will be in a better position. But until then. It's not in a very good spot. <laughs> he has like a Liliana of the Veil. I think we're just gonna concede because we can't beat that. Comes a 6 6 Shadow. Alright. It's kind of a start, I guess. Oh, wow. I'm gonna take the land. As much as I want that on life, we don't have the mana to cast it. Um, I bought them that because if they get rid of this, we we are, we already have like a, a second copy pretty much in our hand. Um, and right now we need mana. We don't need five drops that we can't cast. 
So we're dead. No, we're actually not dead next turn. I don't know what I'm saying. I forgot what this deck does. He knew we had that one in, in our hand, so he knew we weren't dead this turn. Um, but their hand, they probably have like a stubborn isle in their hand anyway, so I don't think it particularly matters, but Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> kind of wish we had that on left right now. Huh. All right, uh, you can, have a, you can have a second test shadow. <laughs> if we weren't dead, we could actually mystical teachings for lightning storm and then just lightning storm them in the face. Um, but as of right now, I don't think that's happening, so. Unless we draw an on life or some. Ah! Wow. So we know, okay, so we know they have one Death Shadow in hand. I think I'm gonna pass, and if they EOT activate Tastigar, I'm gonna go ahead and Lightning Storm him. Um, because if he just has like two sub in his hand and we're not beating it, uh, and if he happens to tap his mana wrong, we might get him for that. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, because he should have been playing spells, but he hasn't. He's just been playing, like, the one Death Shadow, and then he finally played another Task and he kept passing. He didn't play the second Death Shadow either. So it makes me wonder what he has. Okay. I'm gonna do this on his upkeep because I don't want him drawing a card. Hmm, that's bad if he has a land too. Don't have the second stop or not. <laughs> See, sometimes you just hard cast a lightning storm and kill him. Alright, so we won that game. We I don't think we should have. Um Pretty bad for us. Okay, so like I said earlier, I'm gonna bring in the Godhead of All since it seems to be what people are doing. I'm actually gonna take away the mystical teachings because I think it's too slow. Like that game you saw, we just never had an opening to cast it. Um, and I'm bringing in the rest in peace because they play like um. Snapcaster Mage, Tastiger, and Gurmag Angler, and if you can get this off early, it's pretty good against them. Um, to bring out... What to bring out? I don't think... I'm gonna cut... Um, a couple Pentad Prisms. You have to leave one in the deck for the Laboratory Maniac. Um, you, you, you just have to. Um, if it happens, I'll, I'll show you more about it, but... Um, I want to keep some number. I think it's fine to trim on a pact in the game. I'm gonna trim on the cantrips as well, or maybe the no. No, we're gonna trim with some cantrips. Notably, uh, Rest in Peace also protect, like kind of protects us from uh, Surgical Extraction. That's a way I've just like been hosed out of the game before. You just go like turn one discard spell, take your ad nauseum, surgical it, and you have one way to win, um, which involves a laboratory maniac, and if they have any removal spell for him, it's not good. So Alright. 
Um, I really just want to see a ley line in my opener. Like, if I get, like, ley line rest in peace, uh, I think we're in a pretty good spot. There is no ley line in this hand. There is also no rest in peace in this hand. But otherwise, this hand is pretty good. We have fast mana and <sighs> our opponent mulligan to six. And this hand is. Hmm. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Like this, I don't really see us winning again if we don't have line or okay all right i'll keep this hand this hand is much better um we can just scry turn one suspend a lotus bloom and then we have angel's grace and spoils up um to help us um i will bottom that i don't think we need that here i'll have to put this late line in play hopefully he just mulligan to a a discard heavy hand. Oh, he doesn't have anything? Okay. Add nauseum. Bottom that. Spend a Lotus Bloom. Did he keep a no lander? Really wondering what's going on over there. Um Maybe he did just mulligan until he, he had like like a bunch of discard spells in his hand because he thought that's how he was going to get us. Um, which actually, I played against a Death Shadow player uh, at a local shop the other day, and he told me that he actually sides out discard spells because he knows I'm bringing in ley lines. So he just brings in um, like much more counter magic. So uh, the normal instinct for players, like people who side in ley line, is to just mole until you hit it. Um, and I. I didn't mull until I hit it. I had it in my opening hand, but my opening hand also had no lands in it, so like it wasn't good. Um, and then I mulled the six, had like one land, and the hand was awful. I had like three five drops uh, and a ley line in it, and no cantrips. So I mulled again, and I happened to have a ley line in that hand too. So uh, he kind of thought that's like what I did, and I was like, no, 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 no. Like <laughs> um, I didn't do it on purpose. I swear. <laughs> I've played this matchup without, like, I've played game twos and game threes without ley lines before, and, like, sometimes you just get away with it, but typically, I'd, I'd rather be on the safe side. Um, I'd rather know that, like, I'm not gonna just get my hand, excuse me, get my hand torn apart by a million thought seizes. I'm liking this. He's taking nice, slow... Uh, that's exactly what we wanted. We just hope that he taps down his blue source. Um, or maybe he like tries to kill the Lotus Bloom on my... Oh! Okay, I guess he didn't have anything. So we are 1-0, and, and I will see you round 2.